So it is the big day for the incubator and the eggs. It is lockdown day. So what that means basically is we are going to be taking uh, the turner that has been turning the eggs and we are gonna stop that so that the chicks can uh, settle into position to prepare for hatching in three days. So um, lockdown is traditionally done for chickens on the 18th day and they hatch on the 21st day. Uh, sometimes they can hatch before or after that day. I've actually had chicks hatch as early as ni day 19. But um, this particular turner, in theory, you could just unplug it and let it sit in there. I'm kind of thinking I want to take it out just because when they hatch, it can get a little bit messy and I don't want to have to clean that up. So we're going to get the turner out and set the eggs down. Now I did have a commenter leave a comment um, whenever we first talked about this incubator that the mats that they had in theirs, they caused some issues with splay legs on their chicks, um, which I mean, it looks like any other mat or grate that's gonna be in the bottom of an incubator, but we might lay a rag down in there just as a uh, extra precaution. So we're gonna get the eggs uh, set down um, to rest and then up the humidity. Another cool piece of advice that I had read about because I was doing some more research on humidity and um, because everywhere online, everyone has their own different opinion on humidity. And I read, I found this article that explained it amazingly to me. So basically, um, obviously the environment or your climate is going to have a huge effect on how your eggs hatch. So if you are more north, like in the mountains, obviously you are in a more arid environment. It's drier. It's not as humid. So as, as compared to down here in Florida, it's a very humid environment. So there is a lot of humidity in the air naturally. So down here, you would not need to worry about the humidity in your incubator during the first 18 days as you would someone up north. Um, so for instance, something that a way that you can check and I'll try and find it. And if I can find the article, I'll leave a link down below, but basically whenever you candle the eggs throughout the first 18 days, you're looking for something called an air pocket in the egg, which a lot of us who incubate eggs are familiar with. What I didn't know though, is that depending upon the level of humidity will determine the size of the air pocket. So if say for instance, you run your humidity a little bit higher than you should and come on day 18, the air pocket is very small. If that air pocket is very small on day 18 or non-existence for, for, for instance, the chicks when they go to hatch, because well, they, they're gonna grow to that air pocket they might grow too much. And then whenever they go to hatch, there'll be next to no air pocket when they pip and they can drown. Um, so you want that air pocket. So what I've been doing, what I kind of changed halfway through this incubation is I checked that air pocket and I thought, well, let's go ahead and take out the plug. Cause I've been so worried about trying to keep the humidity at 45 to 55%, but my air pockets were kind of small. And we want that air pocket to be bigger for hatching. So I took the cap off and the incubator has been maintaining itself at 36% humidity, which I've seen some people talk about that down South where they're, where they're in a more humid climate, they maintain their, their, uh, humidity at like 30 to 35% and they have no issue. So we're going to take this kind of change. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link to that article down below that kind of just explains it in further in detail. Hopefully it'll help you guys, uh, improve your hatch rate. We'll see if this improves ours, but it made sense. So we'll see. And we'll have a chick tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. I don't think we're going to have any chicks hatch that early. It can happen though. It is definitely possible. We'll see.
So we've got how many of Miss Cuckoo's eggs? Nine. Nine Miss Cuckoo's. How many of the Americanas? Fourteen. Fourteen. And then for the Silkies? I don't remember. We have ten Silkies. All right, I'm going to bring these a little bit closer so we have room for everyone. I do hear that chirping. What is that? Where does that chirping come from? You said you had heard chirping. It's coming from one of the silky eggs. You think it's coming from one of the silky eggs? Uh-huh. There might be there might be a chick hatching chick chirping in the egg. That definitely happens. We're gonna find out if there's an, if there's a chick chirping. Leon thinks he hears a chick chirping in oh, one of the yeah. eggs. You must have Superman here. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Who knows? Right. We're onto the silky eggs now. Look at this colorful batch of eggs. We might not have enough room. We'll make room. Don't worry, bud. Oh, I hear it. Uh -huh. Listen, babe. I hear it! Oh my goodness! <laughs> we're gonna have to scooch Definitely them. Definitely got some. We're, we're gonna have to scooch them closer. That's okay. We can do that. Oh, listen to that chirping. Oh, that's music to my ears. That means it. That means it's lively. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. We got two more eggs in here. Uh -huh. All right. We'll scooch these over more. Maybe if we scooch. If we scooch Dad over, we'll be able to place it. We got room, don't worry. We got room. There you go. There's a spot for two eggs right there. Boom. One right here. One right here. All right. Here's to hoping all of these hatch. It's very quiet. You have to listen very carefully. We'd be able to hear a better flea. Yeah, let's go ahead and get them covered up now, see what the humidity is at, because yeah, we still got to get... We got to get... I want to take that up farther away so we could hear the cheep. It's okay. We're going to hear a lot of cheeps here in the next three days. Are you mm. excited? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm excited to see what Miss Cuckoo's babies look like, so... If this is your first time uh, seeing our channel or seeing this series where we are hatching eggs, uh, we are hatching three different varieties of chicken we have our bearded silkies which we breed and then we have splash americanas which we also breed well running with our splash americanas we have a cuckoo moran hen which lays those dark chocolate eggs that you saw earlier now the cool thing about those is what that's going to hatch out is going to be something called an olive egg or because miss cuckoo who is a brown layer a, a dark brown layer is crossed with our splash americana rooster which is a a uh, true blue layer and when you get that cross you get something called an olive egg or which lays a mossy green egg so miss cuckoo is black with white spots our splash rooster is white with black spots so i'm really curious to see what their chicks look like so if you want to follow along on that we are actually going to continue to follow along the journey of miss cuckoo's chicks because we want we're going to see how they develop how they grow what they look like as as chicks and as adults and also see what their eggs do actually look like. So we will be keeping, um, giving you guys updates on those as they grow. So new news on the, uh, for our little family. This is happening. Um, it's not meat rabbits though. So Leon is in 4-H and so, uh oh, did I lose our place? So Leon is in 4-H and we are going to be getting him a pair of bunnies. Leon, you want to tell them what breed we're going to get? We're going to get um, English Lops. English Lops. Now English Lops, are, if you don't know what English Lops are, they um, are of course Lops, which are the variety of bunnies that their ears uh, hang beside their face instead of staying stranded up. Well, the English Lop is the original breed of lop that was created in England, I think in the early 19th century as um, like the first like fancy breed of bunny. So we are gonna get him a breeding pair of 
lops of English lops and he is starting his own little rabbit breed breeding program uh, to learn about raising and caring for rabbits for 4-H as well as start a little business so we will be uh, getting them actually this week hopefully we're waiting to hear back from the breeder but we should be getting those this week baby I'm gonna be sad to not have a baby goat in our backyard anymore. <laughs> uh oh, what's wrong? Oh, I'm trying to. See, that's what it did the first time. Our water in our fridge is not working right. We just replaced the filter and now all of a sudden we're not getting water. So, another thing that is happening, as you heard, it is uh, it's time to take Mocha and her baby out to the pasture. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be sad to not have a little baby goat to play with in the backyard anymore. But we can enjoy something right quick before we take them out. It's been a little chilly the last couple nights getting down to the 50s, so I went ahead and put his little suit back on. Hi, little one. Hi. Oh, it's a little dark in here. Hi, baby. You got a little vest. You want nice and warm? Yes. What are you doing in here? Hey, sweetheart. You about to go out onto the pasture? Well, not really. Hi, Mocha. I know you're going to be happy to be back out on the pasture. So, yesterday we actually set up the um, poultry net that Mocha and her baby are going to be running in by themselves. Uh, actually, running next to Saffron with a fence between them. Hi, honey. So cute with your little floppy ears. <laughs> but so we're gonna go ahead. It's been a couple weeks now since he was born, and um, he's plenty big and active now. I feel much better about letting them go out. Are you ready, Mocha? I know you're ready to be back out. I know you're sick and tired of being here. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with our yard. So I'm gonna miss you out in the backyard a little bit. I'm gonna miss you here. We always love coming playing with you. Yes, we always have fun visiting with you while you're here. Whoop, 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 there you go. He's been getting pretty frisky lately, though. We've been letting him out to run around and play with the dogs. You are my best friend, my only best friend. You make me happy, best friend. My guys are best friend. You never know your best friend. How much I love you, best friend. Please don't take... I'm Santana with best friend. He, he bops around with the puppies. How you doing, little one? Mocha, you can't eat my camera. You can't eat my camera. You can't eat your mama's beard either, you little pig pig. You're a little pig pig, you know that? Oh, the fluffy ears. <laughs> you're just all frisky. Well, you're about to have a lot of room to run around and play. And there's a downed tree in there you can jump around on and play on and just have, oh, did that feel good. Yes, you love the chin scratches. Oof. Hi, Mocha. Hi, honey. We're gonna go ahead and get you out there, baby. What are you doing? You wanna climb on my hand? Yes, yeah, you are. Yes. Something else, actually, down below, so, we're gonna have a link with uh, all of the names that our followers suggested, um, where you can go and vote for a name for Mocha's little baby. Something else, actually, I am, down I'm below, seriously we're part, a little partial with, to the name uh, Frappe. The I think it's just cute, given his mom's name is Mocha. Suggested. So, but go and leave your vote, and in the next vlog, we will announce what name won. So the voting will only be up for a few days, and uh, then we'll let y'all know what it is. What's your name gonna be, honey? What is your name gonna be? Yes. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> out at the pasture, I thought before we get uh, Miss Mocha and her baby unloaded, I thought y'all might like to see a little update on Mr. Wellington. Wellington. Hi, honey. Now this is the bull calf that we recently had castrated and dehorned. Hi honey. He's doing great. He's funky as ever. He's recovered nicely. He's not a fan of us, of course, but 
that's just because we haven't really handled him much since birth and that was just because we just got too busy which is fine because he's not being raised as a heifer or like a like a family cow he's being raised as a meat steer so he's doing good healing up nicely no signs of infections which is what we want and uh yeah he's doing good he's he's bounced back nicely he's healthy as ever running around the pasture acting totally fine so that's that's good it's always what you want you don't want you don't want to be worried about infection on that so he's doing good oh all the goats are calling each other <laughs> you can hear them now it is time to get the baby and the mocha but i'm thinking i'm gonna get mocha set up in the paddock first and then bring the baby so let's do that we'll see if she'll let me lead her and her baby she might not give me an option. She might say, no, I'm not going without my baby. You're gonna to have to bring my baby. Come on, honey. Come on, Mocha. Come on, Mocha. It's time. We're here. Yeah, you know what's up. Come on, Mocha. Good girl. All right, we'll be right back for you, little one. All right. So Come on, Mocha. Come on, honey, let's go. We're home. Look at you, baby. Are you excited? Say yay, we're home. We'll get your baby, don't worry. Come on. Come on, Mocha. All right, we got Mocha. We gotta go all the way around, though. Come on, Mocha. Do you need help getting out, bud? Come on, Mocha. I'll bring your baby. Don't worry. Come on, Mocha. We'll bring your baby. Don't worry. I know. Come on, honey. Come on. We'll bring him. Don't worry. What a good mama. Come on, honey. There's a lot of eggs in there. All right, here. I'll push this down. There, step out. I got my hands full, buddy. Come on. There you go. Go put them in the truck. We are kind of overflowing with eggs right now. Lots and lots of eggs. Come on, Mocha. No, come on, Mocha. Let's go. Come on, honey. Yeah, I know. You see everyone. See, there's the chickens and there's Sophie. Yeah, see, say, I'm home, guys. I'm home. Come on, Mocha. We're almost to your pen. So we've got her paddock. There's Saffron's paddock. We've got her in little bits paddock set up behind him so she's still close to another goat without being completely separated from it come on and then we can get let little one get a little bit bigger and not be as worried about the bigger goats picking on him and then ultimately we will run her in a little bit with Sophie and then Waffle will go back with Saffron so they can be running together. I've been working on trying to start mowing and reclaiming this orchard because it's just, it's atrocious right now. Here we go, here is your paddock. Look at all that stuff in there that you get to eat. It's loaded with all kinds of goods. Get your piddles out, honey, I know. All right, and then you, there you go, go under. You know the drill. Mocha, come on. You gotta go under, baby. Come on. Go under. Go on. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. All right, you just walk around with that for a second. I'll bring your baby. So, it's gonna be little one's first experience with an electric net. So, we are gonna get him in there, turn the power on, and monitor because we want him to feel that the fence is electrified so that we are here when he does touch it just in case so that if he does spook and try and run and he gets tangled on the fence we can turn it off immediately but at that point he will know okay fence equals bad don't touch fence fence equals no touch and then we can go from there Oh, I know, Mocha. I hear you calling for your baby. Look at the 
so nice out today. It's getting warmer. We've had a nice couple few days of uh, cool weather. I'm kind of missing it already. It's warm, but it's, it's not hot yet. Just warm. I think it's in this 80s right now. All right. Got Luke's bucket. Gonna go put his bucket up and then go get little one. All right, Leon. Time for us to show a little bit the electric fence, okay? So that means I'm gonna need you to stand by at the energizer, okay? Or actually, you know what? I can use. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna need your help, bud. Come on. You wanna carry? You wanna carry the baby? Sure. All right. Come on. You can carry the baby. You can carry the baby. You got him, bud. Come here. Come on, honey. He's a little worried. There you go. Hi. Good job. Nice. No, go ahead. Oh, that was your chance. There you go. There you go. Now you can gently reach up under his front arms, front legs. There you go. Don't let him back up. Good. Oh. There you go. Right there. Now go ahead and get him. There you go. Don't let him slip back. Oh, you can pull him up, buddy. There you go. <laughs> All right, there little, you go. Don't just. He's a little. It's okay. Fresh. If he starts to pull back, don't let him go. So? Just be gentle. Get low. Get low. Get low. See, he'll come up to you. See? He'll see that you're not as threatening when you're down on his level. What are you doing? Come on here. All right, I got him, bud. I got him. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Hold on, hold on. Get him. There you go, bud. All right, you got him? Uh -huh. There you go. There's the cute little baby. Aww. Isn't he so lovable, though? Yeah. <laughs> Do we keep him? No, he's not going to stay with us. He's going to go to a new herd. Oh, don't let him slip. All right, now you got him. <laughs> he got his arm in his little vest. <laughs> Here, let me just go ahead and take that off. It's plenty warm for him now. There we go. We'll take off his little vest. Whoop. Yeah. I got him. Go ahead and take that off. Take that velcro off. There we go. All right. Here, take him. Set the, you can set that down. We'll collect it on our way back. There. Here we go. Right, you got him? Mm-hmm. There you go. Make him feel safe and supported. He's a little babushka. <laughs> Do you know what a babushka is, baby? A little baby. No, a babushka is a grandmother. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> but it is a very cute and endearing name, isn't it? Mm hmm <laughs> I like the name babushka. <laughs> there we go. All right, Leanne, I need you to go turn the fence back on, okay? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get in the fence, okay? And then go turn it on. I'm gonna do a walk through, checking everything in here. We got lots of stuff in here for them to forage. All kinds of greens and vegetation. It's gonna be excellent for her. Saffron's totally interested. Saffron, that's your baby. That's your baby, Saffron. It's on now. Thank you, bud. See, Mocha, this, you're so much happier here than you were at our yard. <laughs> Yeah, you agree. <laughs> Look at you, little one. Oh. <laughs> Look at all this room for you to jump around. Saffron's all excited. Saffron, took a leap Saffron, of excitement. Are you excited, Saffron? <laughs> you just... Oh, oh, are we gonna have our first problem here? We might need to run, hopefully. Mm, yeah, but we don't want him to go in with his daddy. It's a little concerning. He stuck his head through there a little too easily. 
which, I mean, is fine if he sticks his head through. It's sticking the rest of his body and going through fully is what concerns me. We might need to run something there. Um, shoot, I'm trying to think of what we can put down to prevent him from slipping through. Um, are you going to try and slip through? Mama? Yes, baby? Okay, I'm on my own. No, I'll just call you when it's time. <laughs> oh, you are all kinds of frisky. Don't go through the fence. There you go. Good. Go to mama. Don't go through the fence. Okay, well that was an opportunity for him to slip through the fence. That's good. He didn't. He got stuck and he backed out and went back to mom. But that still makes me nervous. Um. What are you doing? You gotta touch that fence. I need to know that you're not gonna get tangled up in that fence. You gonna be curious and go through the fence? Your mama's right there, honey. Oh. Hey! It's okay. <laughs> Hi. Sassy pants. Oh, you're so sassy. I just don't want you to go in and get hurt. We don't want you to get hurt. Um, oh my goodness, the zoomies. Did I get a scratch? Is that a scratch? Oh, is that a scratch? <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Hi, cutie. Oh, you're so precious. You gonna go play? Oh no, you just wanna climb on me? Hey, look. There's a little place under here. If you could go, you can jump on this. Hey, come here! Oh, there we go. Now I can see if he's gonna try and go through the fence. He's sticking his head through to eat some grass. So I'm not seeing him actually try to go through it, go through it, just stick his head through. Saffron says, what is, what is this? <laughs> well, he's scared of him. That's good. He backs off. That's good. Oh, Mocha, you were going to have a ball in here. Look at all this. Saffron, hi bud, that's such a good boy, yes, you're a good boy. <laughs> he is so curious. Well, he still hasn't touched the fence. But I need to test the fence, actually, now that I'm thinking of... Oh, you know what? 
I didn't even connect the fence. Genius over here. I gotta connect the fence. It's not even connected. That's useless. <laughs> I'm sitting in here waiting for him to touch the fence to test it. And, uh, nope. I can leave. All right, so I'm gonna let them kind of acclimate. I've gotta get some water for Mocha. She has water. So let's go ahead and get that going. We never connected the fence. What? The fence wasn't connected. <laughs> it was on, but the fence was disconnected still. So kind of pointless test. So here, can you do this, buddy? Can you go? What do you mean it was disconnected? You have to connect the fence to the wire for it to be electrified. But All right. the fence was connected to the wire. No, no, no. The white fence was not connected to the wire. Yeah, the wire, so. Okay. Uh, I've already got one on the way. I ordered some uh, alligator clamps to be able to easily, quickly connect and disconnect the fence. But I'm gonna go ahead and snap this back on. You gotta connect it without it touching this. Um, might be better for me to do it on the other side. Do it on the other side. Hi, Mocha. Yeah, that's better. So we'll slide this on. That way it's connected to the wire that's electrified. Hey, Saffron. I give you no scratches. Yeah? Aw. Uh, Hi, Mocha. Hi, baby. Hi, Mocha. All right, I need to get this electrified because he was trying to nose the fence and I need to know that he's touched the fence and it's hitting him and he runs from it instead of runs into it. So let's go get this turned on. All right. Okay, now we're gonna listen for that little bleat from him touching his nose to the fence. And that will tell us he found the fence, he tested it, he knows it's hot. I'm gonna go get them water, because they need water. Leon, can you go stand watch by the energizer and listen for a little bit if you hear him touch the fence? Turn it off, okay? Okay. We just want him to feel it and know that that's what happens when you touch the fence. We don't want him to get tangled, we don't want him to get hurt, okay? Okay. So go stand by the energizer and be ready. All right, got Leon on fence duty now. Leon just informed me that little bit touched the fence and ran in the opposite direction, which is good. That's what we wanted. So I feel better leaving now. We've hung out for a while. Um, everyone's been fed. Sophie. Hi, honey. Hi, Waffle gonna check in on them one more time got them set up with water and gave mocha her food because she's in lactation now so we want to make sure that she's getting everything that she needs to produce milk <sighs> actually had to refill everyone's water everyone suddenly decided they were gonna be out of water today oh he's hopping over the grass the grass is really tall in there which is good I mean she's gonna get all that she could possibly want to eat and be fat and sassy and he's getting to the point where he's starting to nurse more, so she, her milk will increase, and he'll be good to go. Hi, babies. Hi, Mocha. Hi there, little one. Are you enjoying the, this area? You're having fun in there, aren't you? You've been hopping all over the place. There you go. You got plenty of room to oh, Mocha, why are you trying to faint now? <laughs> so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the vlog, but right quick before I do, make sure you go down to the link below and go vote for your name that you want to name Mocha's baby. I cannot wait to see what his name's gonna be. Just like I said, <laughs> for now we're calling him Mocha Jr. Yeah, so we'll see. Next vlog, we will announce what his name is.